Hey there, passionate plant parents and garden enthusiasts. As the sun dances lightly across the horizon and shadows grow just a bit longer, are you wondering how to illuminate those shaded pockets of your green space? Well, fret not. Today on Dark Spots, Bright Blooms, we're bringing the spotlight to those often overlooked, cooler corners of your garden. We've handpicked the top 10 shade-tolerant plants that promise to bring a burst of life and color even to the most shadowed spots. So gather your gardening journals and let's plunge into a botanical journey that will redefine how you view every nook and cranny of your garden. Let's step into the cool, shaded corners of our gardens. Here, where sunlight softly filters through, emerges our first shade-loving star, the coral bells, or as they're scientifically known, hookeras. Native to North America, hookeras are a testament to nature's artistry. They offer a kaleidoscope of colors that can transform any shaded space. Whether you fancy a touch of silver, a dash of burgundy, or perhaps a radiant orange, there's a coral bell waiting just for you. And while their leaves are undeniably the show stealers, let's tip our hats to their dainty flowers. Perched gracefully on tall stems, these blooms add a touch of finesse. In the world of shade gardening, coral bells truly shine, adding a splash of vibrancy and elegance. So if you've got a cozy corner craving some color, hookeras might just be your perfect pick. And as we continue our journey through nature's shade-loving marvels, let's unveil another star, the captivating dead nettle. Known to botanists as Lamia maculatum, this gem thrives from zones 3 to 8. Spreading out like nature's own silvery carpet, dead nettle is adorned with delightful pops of color when it blooms in early summer. For those with a penchant for garden artistry, dead nettle is a gift. It graciously covers ground, adding charm without overwhelming its neighbors. It's the kind of plant that knows its space yet doesn't shy away from showcasing its beauty. And here's a tidbit for our garden enthusiasts. Should your dead nettle decide to spread its joy a bit too much, just lift a section and pass it along. Think of it as gifting a piece of nature's artwork. A splendid choice, dead nettle is both functional and a sheer delight for those shady retreats. Journeying through our garden spectrum, we find ourselves captivated by the stunning spectacle that is coleus. Hailing from the vibrant heart of zones 10 to 11, coleus is no ordinary plant. It's a canvas of nature's best shades, patterns, and textures, transforming every corner of the garden into a vivid masterpiece. For these flamboyant beauties, it's all about the right touch. They yearn for well-draining, nourished soil, and a thirst-quenching drink now and then. And while they bask in the gentle embrace of morning sunlight, it's wise to protect them from the fiercer afternoon rays. And here's the delightful part for every gardening enthusiast, Coleus loves to multiply. With just a clipping, you can embark on a propagation adventure, allowing you to spread its colorful charm even further. Whether it's gracing a solo pot with its grandeur, weaving magic in mixed borders, or stealing the show in garden beds, Coleus never fails to impress. Let's step into a world of subtle beauty and grace. Enter the foam flower, or as the experts call it, Terella. Thriving in zones 4 to 9, foam flower might remind some of hookras. But there's a raw, untouched beauty to these woodland wonders. Their matte leaves whisper tales of ancient forests, setting them apart in the world of garden plants. But it's the flowers that are the true showstoppers here. Delicate bottle brush blooms, elegantly poised in shades of white and soft pink, often steal the spotlight more than their Hukara counterparts. For the connoisseurs of garden detail, the newer foam flower varieties are a treat. Intricate burgundy red veins dance on their leaves, adding a touch of drama to this otherwise demure beauty. In the vast tapestry of shade loving plants, foam flower paints a picture of understated elegance and timeless beauty, beckoning you to immerse yourself in its woodland charm. Venture deeper into our shade loving botanical journey, and you'll encounter the beguiling lungwort, known scientifically as pulmonaria. Flourishing in zones 3 to 8, its signature is the luminous silver foliage. Leaves stretch out, some awash in pure silver, others playfully spotted or brushed with the hue. Nature's artistry is evident in every leaf, but the spectacle doesn't end there. With spring's touch, lungwort springs to life with flowers, unfolding in shades of white, pink, and deep blue. The magic? Often, you'll find a symphony of these colors on a single plant. In the world of shade-loving plants, lungwort emerges as a dual spectacle, a dance of silver leaves and a cascade of vibrant blooms, delighting the senses at every turn. 
As we continue our exploration, we stumble upon an ageless beauty, the captivating fox love, or, as science enthusiasts might call it, digitalis. Thriving in zones 4 to 10, Foxglove is a reminiscent of fairy tales and age-old garden stories. Tall spires majestically rise, draped in a cascade of bell-shaped wonders, coming alive in late spring's embrace. Although most of our beloved foxgloves bloom in their second year, these biennials have a charming habit. They generously scatter their seeds, promising an encore of their grandeur each season. Thinking of inviting foxglove to your green haven? They cherish rich, damp earth, and a kiss of sunlight ensures they bloom at their best. Whether it's a cottage corner, a woodland embrace, or a wildflower tapestry, Foxglove's towers of beauty never cease to enchant. Foxglove, a testament to nature's poetry, weaving tales of timeless allure with every bloom. Onwards in our garden voyage, and amidst the shade, we discover a bloom both delicate and radiant. The primrose, or in scientific circles, primula. Dwelling comfortably in zones 3 to 8, the primrose is a herald of spring's tender embrace. Its very name whispers of being the first, a precursor to the symphony of blooms that follows. From ethereal pastels to vibrant spectacles, primrose paints with a palette that never fails to captivate. And while it's a shadow-loving bloom, a hint of dawn's glow accentuates its splendor. Whether nestling in cottage gardens, city balconies, or embracing the woodland floor, primrose is the touch of enchantment that every shade garden yearns for. In the world of botanical wonders, the primrose stands as a poetic testament to nature's power to light up even the most shaded corners with beauty. Delving deeper into our shade-soaked garden tapestry, an unexpected winter marvel emerges. The hellbore, or as scholars like to call it, hellborus. Fitting seamlessly into zones 4 to 9, these Christmas roses are nature's winter ballet, unfolding their dance while most plants are deep in slumber. But hellbores aren't just winter's blooming surprise. Their robust leaves texture the garden, making them as practical as they are beautiful. Whether under the canopies of woodland giants, lining shadowy pathways, or standing solo in ornate pots, hellbores shine. They ask for little but give much, painting our colder months with dashes of unexpected color. In the heart of winter, when nature seems to pause, hellbores whisper a promise of life and a glimpse of the vibrant spring to come. As our enchanting shade garden adventure draws closer to its grand finale, we encounter the Allstilby, nature's elegant summer serenade. Belonging to zones 4 through 9, Allstilby steals the show with its feathery bloom spikes. Its grand performance, heralded by shades of pink, red, white, and violet, is an annual woodland spectacle. But Allstilby isn't just a fleeting beauty. Its ferny, intricate leaves contrast its vibrant blossoms, cementing its status as a perennial must-have. Whether you're giving it a starring role in a garden bed, letting it paint your woodland floor, or showcasing it in shit containers, all still be effortlessly commands attention. To truly elevate your garden tableau, combine all still be's unique textures with ferns, coral bells, or houses. Together, they form a harmonious tapestry of colors and forms, resonating nature's symphony. In the ever-evolving theater of nature, all still be is the act that invites endless in course. As our journey through the realm of shade-dwelling marvels comes to a close, we bestow the spotlight on the regal Hausta, the shade garden's crown jewel. Gaze upon its splendid tapestry of foliage. The Hausta is a testament to nature's artistry, offering a spectacle of colors, textures, and sizes. Each leaf, a masterpiece, from the tiniest, delicate forms to grand, sweeping displays. Beyond its visual splendor, the Hausta is celebrated for its resilience. Braving diverse climates and even the most challenging garden nooks, its grandeur remains undiminished. Imagine a serene tableau crafted with houses, nestled amidst the vibrant coral bells, the intricate tapestry of ferns, and the fleeting beauty of columbines. It's a garden lover's dream, a promise of enduring splendor. With the Hausta, you're not just planting a perennial. You're weaving stories, memories, and timeless elegance into your garden tapestry. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Drop your thoughts in the comments below and we'll see you in the next one. Stay green and keep growing.